evening everyone, this is Fuchsia Moon. I am making a video today to talk about, well, how to compartmentalize your altar. Um, I know a lot of you probably have the issue that I do, which is you only have one altar space to use. Um, and this is my altar space. And it does look fairly big compared to some people, but as you can see, I'm a very cluttered witch and I always have a lot of stuff on my altar. So it, it does get a little crowded, and it is hard for me to kind of give space to each and every individual part of my practice, which I would like to have my own altar for. So it's hard, because I would love to have a love altar. I would love to have a money altar. I would love to have, you know, a self-love altar. But I can't do all of that, so I make this altar serve all of those purposes. So how I do that, and I'm sure this is not just me who does this, but... I just think it's important to um, talk about because it's very um, useful and I don't know that everyone knows that they can do this. Um, so what I like to do is I use different areas of my altar for different areas of my life. So uh, I have quite a few of them. Sorry, my altar's a mess. I was working on uh, a working earlier and it's kind of messy. Who am I kidding? It's always messy. Anyway, so I'll go part by part of my altar and just kind of talk about it. So, um, like most people who are pagan, I have a goddess side over here and a god side over here. And you can see on my god side I have a horn, my athme, um, my green man, my god candle, some stones that look like, to me, they're fiery and they remind me of the sun and of the god. Um, if you watched my Litha video, I talked about how I was putting those stones out during the summer solstice to soak up that sun energy. So I've done that and they're there. And then on my goddess side, I have um, my cauldron, my goddess stones. Um, goddess stones include a moonstone and um, god stones include a sunstone. And then also on my goddess side are all of these representations. You can see it's kind of dark, but there's, I think I've shown a lot of these before, but different goddess representations. And then I also have my personal section over here. And the reason I include it over here is because I am a woman, and so I feel that connection to the goddess. Um, and because I think it works here. So in my personal section, I have my um, kind of jewelry that I that I wear um, to pagan meetups and stuff. So these are like little necklaces with stones in them that you can switch out. So I have them over there because they're something I wear and they're very personal to me. And then I have that spell bottle is um, for a law, law school that I made at the beginning of my law school journey, um, applications, etc. And I will keep it here until I'm finished with law school and it will carry me through. So. Um, yeah, and then I have my summer solstice bag, and Sophie, my, um, representation of myself, those are both also in my Litha video, and, um, they hold the energy of the Litha sun, and Sophie is a, um, representation of me, so I put her there, and then this is a candle that I burned during the Taurus, um, during Taurus this year, and my birthday is... Basics, so I'm a Taurus, and I have some flowers, dried flowers in it from around that time of year. And then these are my poppets. They're kind of separate. This area up here is a little bit separate. Um, so it's not really exactly a specific um, thing, but they have their own little spot kind of next to her since she's a poppet as well. Um, here's my Himalayan salt lamp, which is actually needs a new bulb. Um, and then here, and I know it's kind of little, but... Um, I, I want to have my own altar for this eventually, but this is kind of my little love space for me and my fiancé. It has, um, a red candle, and then there's some rose quartz, as well as a white stone that we found when we were swimming together under waterfall. It was really magical. And a little piece of shell that he found and gave to me when we were in Costa Rica together. Um, and there's my tarot cards. I used to have kind of a divination, um area of my altar, but that was displaced by my um, ancestor altar area, which I'll show you in a second. But that's just sitting there right now. And then up here, 
are my runes and my pendulum in those bags. So next, this is my little fairy area, and I haven't really worked with the fairies much yet, but I'm really interested in it, and I wanted to kind of leave, um, open this spot for them, um, to just kind of welcome them into my life, into my practice. Um, I've been watching videos and reading about them, and I think it's something that I want to get into. So this is my little fairy garden area, and I spent a long time selecting little objects to put in there. Dried flowers, pine cones, crystals, shells, and then a the little mushroom in the middle. Okay, so over here, this area is kind of a friendship area, and um, so I have my little rock guy. He was done by an artist in Dripping Springs, Texas, where I'm from, and he is kind of like a happy little rock dude, and I don't know why, I just felt like I needed to put him on here. And then there's a bunch of my favorite crystals around him, and those kind of symbolize um, my friends around me, surrounding me, so... And also, this little bottle is from um, the sanctuary where I go for pagan ritual, and I got this when I became a mem member, and it's a friendship little spell bottle, I guess. And um, so I have that there, and I also have a rose that I found when I was out partying with my friends, so that's that area. And crystal ball. This is my ancestor altar area. My grandfather just passed away, actually, a few days ago. And, um, I hadn't realized that he was so sick, and it really, it hit me hard, so I set up this little area, and, in his honor, and, um, it has some herbs from when we, I went to a family reunion with him and some other family members, and picked these flowers, and, and dried the flowers and herbs that I found, and, um, that's just sprinkled around this purple candle, and then there's some amethyst, which is a stone that's known as a stone that helps people transition from life into death. And so I think that's pretty fitting and beautiful. So I have that. And then I have this little representation of death right there. So that's for him. And that kind of brings us full circle. So anyway, um, this video is a little longer than I hoped, but hopefully, <laughs> uh, you know, not too boring. Um, so anyway... Those are my altar areas, and someday all of those things will hopefully... Oh, I left out... This is a little money frog there. Um, but someday, hopefully, all of this will have its own altar. If I have some big house and everything. But for right now, it all shares space, and I just wanted to let you all see what I've done, and you know, hopefully you can find a way to make it work for you. Alright, until next time, blessed be.